Today I'm going to be reviewing and sound testing the Bose SoundLink Color Bluetooth speaker. I've used this speaker for two years now, so obviously I'm a very satisfied customer, so I thought why not review it. Before I get into this review, there is an updated version of the speaker called the Bose SoundLink Color 2. Now I've tested this speaker as well, but I don't have it with me right now. It costs about $15 to $20 more than this one, but the difference in sound quality is very minimal. It just has the slightest more bass, but it's not significant enough to justify the extra cost. However, it does come with some extra features for which the extra cost can be justified. And I will get into those features later in this video. Now, let's start off with the looks. It's a good looking speaker. I actually find it slightly better looking than the color too. It comes in five different colors. As for the build quality, I would give it a 10 out of 10. There's really nothing to complain about it. It's solid and not cheaply made at all. It weighs about 1.2 pounds, uh, not too heavy and not too light either. It fits nicely into the palm of your hand, so I've never dropped it once. But make sure you don't drop it because it's heavy enough to possibly get damaged. It's very easy to pack in a suitcase as well because it's flat. You just place it on its back, you know, between some clothes like this. The buttons are pretty basic. There is one for the auxiliary function right here. So you can connect the speaker to an older device without the Bluetooth. Here is the aux port right here. So it's this one. And this one is for the charger. So the charger is a micro USB charger. This is the charger. Actually, this cable is not the right cable. I lost my cable, so I purchased a new one. But this is the wall charger that you get, um, so it works like with that. Now the speaker does not come with a carrying case and it has a battery life of about 8 hours. I use it only once or maybe twice a day and it lasts for me for about a week before it needs recharging again. Now this is the speaker right here. It's a mono speaker, not stereo, and the bass comes from here, from, from the back. It has a single passive radiator, whereas the SoundLink Color 2 has dual passive radiators. Passive radiators help produce a deeper sound from the woofer, hence why the, the SoundLink Color 2 has a slightly better bass, but it's still not by much. It also does not have the speakerphone function, so you cannot use it to answer phone calls. Now this is also a feature that the SoundLink Color 2 has. So if answering phone calls is an important feature for you, you could pay a little extra and get the SoundLink Color 2 instead. Now for the sound quality, it's excellent. It's very balanced and I have no, no complaints about the sound quality, which is why I've used this for two years now. But I will be honest with you and tell you that this is not a bass heavy speaker. If any reviewer tells you that this has a deep bass, don't believe them. It has decent bass that's very balanced and not overpowering. I like to place it up against the wall and when I do I feel that the bass is just perfectly balanced to hear the highs and mids clearly as well. But when I don't place it against the wall I think the bass is a bit light and I never use it that way. Now if you increase the volume too high there is some distortion. However, I have never reached that volume level indoors because it would just be too loud and you just don't need it indoors. So indoors, whether you're alone or even having a get together, this speaker is going to do its job. But if you're going to use it for a party outdoors, it may not be enough because it might just not be loud enough for a party without experiencing some distortion. I'm going to give you the sound test now, but I hope you know that this does not accurately reflect the speaker's sound quality because it depends on a lot of factors like my recording equipment, the device you're using to watch this video, etc. So here goes. Connected to desktop UKB2J7J. Right, so before I do it, it does have voice prompts when your devices get connected. Now it, it connected to one device right now, but it can connect to up to three devices at the same time, but you can only play from one of them at once. And it remembers the last eight devices you paired it with.
Now let's try the same track, but with my speaker up against the wall, because that's how I like it. Now I thought I'd play a rock track as well, just so you can have an understanding of how it sounds with different genres. <laughs> So I hope that sound test was clear enough for you. My verdict is that I have been 100% satisfied with this Bluetooth speaker ever since I purchased it. If you're looking for something to mostly use indoors, this one's worth the price. If you're looking for something to use for parties, you should probably get something else. I would give it like a 9 out of 10 at least. I hope this review was helpful. I leave two links in the description to where you can buy this speaker as well as the Bose SoundLink Color 2 for the cheapest price available on Amazon. Thank you for watching and take care.